Hello friends, welcome to Scott UG. Um, last time I showed you how you can create, uh, how you can install a web mini onto your Linux server so that you can be able to maybe um, to ease the way you can navigate your server using a graphical user interface instead of uh, instead of um, a command line interface. However, I never showed you how to navigate through it. So this round, I'm gonna show you how you can manage it. So I've logged into the IP, which I saw uh, I gave you last time. Or the, the only way you can log in is to set your IP address here and then the port, which is 10,000. Then you enter your username, which is root, and then the password you choose, and then you click sign in. However, don't also forget to subscribe to this channel by pressing the subscription button. You will be able to get lots, lots, lots more and more from me. So this is the main page. If you happen to use an Android device, the way I use it, this is what you get for initiary. So this is what uh, they are showing. The CPU usage is three percent, and then um, the real memory usage is forty-six percent. And then the local disk space, which they have ever used, is uh, roughly 22%. And down here, these uh, slopes or these uh, graphs show you the real time, real time usage. And uh, if I zoom in, if I happen to zoom in, yeah, you can see that uh, it's it's even continuous. It uh, it updates itself. Reports uh, up, it's automatic, so you can see the graphical interface or usage uh, through the server instead of uh, and the usage and each and everything. So, previous logins they can be shown uh, who accessed the server via that username, and um, you can see what. Uh, so, this is the active session which we are using, so and uh, so on, so on here. So if at all you want to go through other steps, you can use this menu here, which comes in. And if I try to zoom in for you, okay. Okay, I've tried to zoom in for you, and here is what we call the web mini management system, servers, others, networking, hardware, cluster, and so on. So here there are many things which you can do just uh, just so here we are you can you can edit the user or you can edit uh, the access credentials by clicking here and you see what uh, it brings so here you can set uh, the username to be used the password um, I, I, I advise not to change this and then real name you can change lots of and uh, lots lots of uh, stuffs here okay you can go through and see however i advise you to set what you know what you don't know you just let it uh, let it be the way it is okay and uh, when you go back and check here and check here this is about the web mini configure languages and themes activity log sessions server indexes when you try to see systems you can see change passwords file running processes and lots and lots also when you click your users you can uh, many things you can do through here so if at all you don't you have not uh, tapped uh, you don't find maybe if you are told you feel, feel like you want something and you're not seeing it maybe you can try to search by entering search for instance if i just want something like mail then i will i will set it from here okay i'll add uh, the mail servers and so on and so on okay so um i hope i've explained what you wanted i hope uh, i've oriented you through the this whole thing so we meet in one of my next videos where i'll be showing you lots and lots of more so with that jobless. bless